boom, 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 boom. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. We're out here on the trap line, and uh, we're trying to trap stuff. By golly, we got him, boys. Looks like a young one, bro. Dude, look at, oh my goodness. What is that? Dude, what is this? This looks like a stinking alien. So when I first rode up to it, it was weird because it had a had a bone tail or whatever. See its tail? No fur on it, okay? At first, I looked at its face and I was like, bro, that's a dog. Did I catch a dog? Upon further inspection, he's really small. At this point in time, it is breeding season for coyotes. So this isn't a youngling. They shouldn't be this small. I think I caught a cross between a wild coyote some kind of stray dog that has the mange. I mean, you can look at it right there. It ain't got no fur on its back. Maybe that's why he's so small. He might be small because he's literally dying as we speak because he has mange, he has no fur, and it's in the winter. This dude's struggling, and if I don't kill him now, which I'm going to, he's gonna die because it's only getting colder. And bro don't even have fur on his back end. I'm not gonna skin him. He has mange, I might catch it. Might get leprosy or something, I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out of the trap. Goodness, man, that's, that thing's in bad shape. That is rough right there. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna throw this guy somewhere. Oh, wonder what his teeth's like. Oh, man. His teeth are kind of ground down, too. I'm gonna get this guy, I'm gonna throw him somewhere. I'll get back with you guys this evening, and we'll come back and we'll reset the set, because this place is hot with coyotes. There's a good chance we catch one tonight if we set that trap back, because, I mean, you know, it's a good spot. All right, guys, it is the evening. I'm gonna just go ahead and reset the trap and I'll catch you guys whenever it's finished to show you the final product. All right, boys, set is finished. It ain't perfect, but it's, I mean, it's pretty good. It's, not, it's definitely good enough. Here it is. Just by looking at it, you can 100% tell where the trap is because the, you know, it's right in front of the hole. And the dirt is a different color, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, the dirt over there, the dirt right there, the dirt right here, it's all different colors because I've caught two coyotes in the same spot and they've each dug up a different piece of dirt. Not to mention, there's a really nice looking dirt hole right there and this entire place smells like a big old coyote dookie. Could it be better? Yes, it can. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Resets are so good. If you catch an animal, even if it's just a possum, reset the trap because a coyote fox, they want to check things out. They're curious animals. Coyote's walking through the woods and he's like, hold on, there's a strong smell of a possum coming from that exact area. Let me check it out. That's what they do. I mean, I've talked to them before. That's what they've told me. They've written me emails. Not really. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow when we have another coyote in the set. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, guys, this morning we have a pretty uh, kind of unique scenario. Not really. Over here, we actually been trapping in a creek because, you know, I've been seeing coon tracks all over it. We caught a raccoon. I attached the dog proof to that big log thing. It was actually over there. I don't know if the flood came or if the raccoon just drug it in. Long story short, he's in the middle of the thing. And uh, yeah, we got to do something about it. Now, here's the thing, guys. Usually what we'll do is we'll go ahead and shoot him. But it, today, we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna relocate him. And the way that I do that is with this live trap to transport him and this catch pole to get him out of the trap. That way, you know what? This coon, he can go live his life and uh, he'll be fine. I am alone today, so it looks like the GoPro's going on the head cam. This could get crazy. It could, may not be crazy at all. I don't really know, it all depends. First thing, here's the cage, here's the catch pole. Let's just uh, go in there and get it done, I guess. Not too big of a deal. Nothing crazy here. One way or another, brother, somebody's gonna get wet. And I think it's probably gonna be you. I'll go ahead and get this cage ready to dump him in. I'll use this stick to prop open the gate. And then once he's in there, I'll pull it out. And that should be good to go. All right, now here's the deal. Let's go. Okay. Oh, man, it's muddy. As expected. All right. I am within range of him right now. So, uh, there you go. You're good. You're good. All right. Now he's caught. He ain't going nowhere. Now I've just got to get the trap off of him. He's not choking. He's just held down. I got to get his head far away from my hand. Now I got him like that. Stuck in mud once again. I just got to get him into the cage. Pretty easy. Now I can let the pressure off of him and boom. That's how you do it. Easy transported, and now we're both ready to go unharmed. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it, but 
that hand right over there, his right hand was the one that's caught in the trap. And he's already using it to push around and stuff. So, see, he's already grabbing stuff with it. Oh, look at him. He's trying to get out. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I'll go ahead and set him in the back. And we'll get him out of here. <clears throat> there he is. I don't think I'm going to reset this trap because it's in the water. Well, I could just reset the trap right there and put it in the bank. If I catch another coon, he will sit in the water, but I mean, it didn't hurt him. He was okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, we'll reset the trap. Let me go ahead and set this trap. Just like that. Trap is set. I'm just going to jab it right here in this muddy bank. Just like that. Get some of this old dog food. Pour right in top. About like that. Should be fine, and honestly, wouldn't be surprised if I catch one tomorrow, but you never know. All right, boys, catch y'all somewhere later. What is up, guys? Rolling up to the trap line, uh, checking a squirrel trap. That's not a squirrel. That's a striped skunk. I don't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. I, I still don't know what to do. I don't want to shoot him. I'd rather just let him go. But I really don't even know if that's possible. I'm going to I'm gonna go check the rest of the traps and uh, I'll be thinking about it, man. All right, guys. I checked this side of the trap line. Ain't nothing on it. I'm going to go back to the skunk and I think I'm just going to let it out. He might spray me, but I mean, hey, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to skin it. Might as well just let it go. As long as it doesn't feel like it's about to die, he shouldn't spray me. I mean, you got to you gotta understand, it takes them 10 days to fully regenerate their essence. And so if he blows it on me when he doesn't feel super threatened, he's putting his life at risk for the next week and a half. And so as long as he doesn't feel like he's in immediate danger, he may just chill, man. Hey, he may even be asleep. He may not even, he don't even know I'm here right now. I'm standing five yards from him. He don't even know I'm here. Poor guy. Hey, buddy. I just want to, I just want to like make a truce. I just want to let you out of your cage. So uh, as long as you don't spray me, I won't shoot you. That's the deal, man. If you spray me, you're probably going to die. You know what I mean? I'm going to just get progressively closer and closer. Now I know, I know I can open this gate there, but I don't know how to keep it open. There's a lot that could go wrong right here, and I'm kind of, kind of sketched out a little bit about it. Hey, buddy, I'm just your friend. You don't know me. I don't know you, and I've probably caught your dad before, but that's okay. We won't, we won't put that between us, brother. If I touch the cage, do you see? I can touch the cage, and you don't even want to spray me. I know what you're man. I know what you're doing, man. You're not a bad guy. You just got a bad rap because you smell like absolute death. But you know, sometimes we all stink. I stink sometimes more than sometimes, I guess. But I know, I know how you feel sometimes. Head camp's going on. It's not about getting shot. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Loud noises scare me too, man. It's not about getting shot. It's not about being stinky. It's about coming to the cookout and having a good time as friends. As newly made friends, that's what it's all about, brother. I ain't scared of you and you ain't scared of me. You're free to go whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna stand right here and wait and give you a hug when you get out. I'm gonna be honest, whenever, that, uh, whenever the cage popped, I thought I was dead. I thought he got me. Hey, don't eat too many turkey eggs this spring or I'll just have to kill you next year. See you, buddy. I'm gonna go run the rest of the trap line. Have a good day, brother. All right, so like I was saying, I've covered about half the trap line over here. There's another half over there, kind of on a completely different property. So while little brother's over there getting out of the trap, we're gonna go on and we're gonna go and uh, yeah, check the rest of the trap line. You never know what we may catch. I'll tell you right now, if we catch a coyote, he ain't getting off as easy as a little skunk did. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We have caught an animal, and it is a raccoon. Also known as, hey buddy, you better back up, son. I got a 22 in a truck. Also known as a trash panda. This guy's actually cool. This one's like a tan coon, I guess you could say. A lot of times they're black and then they're silver. This one's kind of brown. It's kind of like a 
like a bronze color. Kind of cool. Caught him right here in the dog proof, strapped onto that tree right here by the creek. I seen a ton of raccoon tracks right here on the edge of the bank. And I could see some very obvious trails going this way, up the bank right there, around the bank, around the bank. Long story short, guys, I set my trap on sign. I knew these raccoons here. I set a trap. I caught a raccoon. Pretty simple. You do want to be careful with the raccoons because they do not only carry rabies, but they will also eat your face off if given the chance. So uh, don't go around petting raccoons because you won't be doing it long. For me, I'm going to relocate this one to the different side of the property because this side of the property is not where a raccoon needs to be. I'm gonna get him in this cage trap and have a catch pole right back there, so I'll let y'all watch me do it, I suppose. I'll set y'all right there. The raccoon's over there. Wish me luck. I hope I don't need it. Hang in there, Mr. Roger. Very simple. I come in here. He don't know what it is. So he lets me just grab him just like that. Hold on there, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, leave my boot alone. Hey, you leave my boot alone. Okay, now I'll just pick him up. Hey, calm down, calm down. I'll just pack him up there, put him in the back of the Defender, and then we'll head out of here and turn him out somewhere. See what I was saying, how this guy's kind of like a bronze coon? Kind of interesting. I don't really see those that much at all. Not around here. Anyways, boys, catch you later.